This is what rainbows usually look like. They're nice and fat. And it's probably a hen. I don't know. I think it's a buck. The, the males are the bucks. They get a kite on them. So they get a little hook on the bottom of their jaw. Looks like this one might have had one. That kite only forms when they come in to spawn. And they just got done spawning like a month ago. So their body actually changes and they grow that type when they come in to spawn. And brown trout do the same thing. It's mostly in the bigger ones. The smaller ones don't get that. You ever bleed your fish before you clean them? Uh, we've talked about it, but I'd really have to have a live ball or put them on a rope and drag them behind the boat. And you just never messed around with it. But it would be ideal. When we fish for these in the spring in the rivers, we bleed them out. And then it's a lot less messy when you clean them too. I really like to do it with walleyes, but there, you know, we're fishing in the boat with a, with a live ball. So it's a lot easier. Salmon bleed a lot. Well, rainbows do too, but I think salmon bleed more. I'm going to leave the skin on this one and it'll be good for the smoker. That's a big slab of meat right there, bud. Thank <laughs> you.